Kia ora, good evening. It's the news no one in Christchurch wants to hear. Earthquakes might continue in the city and the Canterbury province for the next 30 years. GNS scientists made the prediction today and right on cue, the city copped another magnitude 5 shake. Alison Pugh was at today's briefing in the city and she joins us now live. Ali. Good evening, Mary. This city has endured nearly 10,000 aftershocks since that first shake struck in Darfield in September 2010. And again, just today, another magnitude 5 quake that came at around 2.20 this afternoon. Ironically, we were in the middle of a GNS briefing. Scientists there were advising the city that there will be more aftershocks and they will be around for some time. Christmas. Um, a mid-meeting quake managed five, to get a few laughs from five, the experts. Six, Sorry. OK, no, no, we're going to ask the experts. Um, Mr Berryman, Mr Berryman, what would you, what would you give that one? 3.3. Well, 3.3. 3.3. But in fact, it was a magnitude 5, and GNS scientists say Christchurch can expect more of the same. You know, the 5 following the sequence is, is still very likely. But the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority insists residents shouldn't be alarmed. We may get a few more sixes, we're not sure about that. But even then, most of Christchurch doesn't actually suffer any problems when those sort of things happen. Those swamped in the silty eastern suburbs, however, do. A six which stirs up liquefaction, that is disturbing and difficult for people and it causes a really big mess. But the reality is they are going to die off. But dying off completely could take decades. Magnitude 3s are liable to go on for several years. Magnitude 1s and 2s will go on for this 30 years. A prediction that the recovery minister says is unsurprising. What they're saying is that even some decades after uh, the event, you periodically get a little shake that doesn't bother anybody from those events. So I don't think it's catastrophic mood, uh, uh, news at all. Providing further assurances is the movement of the epicentres eastward, heading out to the ocean. The City Council working on installing tsunami sirens along the coast. We are, however, committed to putting in a tsunami warning system uh, because it's a peace of mind issue for a lot of our community as well. And although the tsunami risk here might be low, the likelihood of more quakes in this town is a sure thing. After, after that briefing, I asked Earthquake Recovery Minister Jerry Brownlee if, in fact, today's news would hinder the recovery of the city. He said that these latest predictions and the latest aftershocks are just a natural part of the earthquake sequence here. He said they were to be expected and would in no way hold up the recovery of this city. Thanks for that, Ali. That's Alison Pugh in Christchurch there.